I've been in touch with a parent who has a child in the high school who was appalled to find this book in the stacks and helpfully secreted that book out of the stacks, checked it out, and now it's in mom's possession. This book is called Gender Queer. It's a, excuse me, not a comic book, a graphic novel. In Gender Queer, Maya Kobabi has crafted an intensely cathartic autobiography about air path to identifying as non-binary and asexual and coming out to air family and society. By addressing questions about gender identity and what it means and how to think about it, the story also doubles as a much needed, useful, and touching guide. You'll see exactly how much of a touching guide it is when we get into the detail. I want to show you that it's been in their stacks of this library since at least 2019. It's been checked out four times that we know of, but of course it's sitting in the stacks and can be read by anybody right out there in the open for any kid in high school. And finally, we confirm that it is indeed in the electronic catalog of the book, along with a surprisingly large number of other books about trans and gender. I'm sure that they're just as wholesome and savory as this one, aren't you? Now we have a picture of a shirtless torso and a pair of jeans and a hand holding a bulge in a crotch. And it says, for years, my standard method of masturbation was stuffing a sock into the front of my pants and manipulating the bulge. So her sister says, it really never occurred to you to put something into your vagina, not even a finger? No, it really didn't, sister says. So you've never tasted yourself? What? No. Ew. Yeah, that's right. Ew. Wait, you have? Says our author. Sister, laughingly, like she has a fork full of salad in one hand and she's caught in slow motion. <laughs> ha ha! Of course, you should try. Next panel, get a sick bag. And so we have a picture of the author holding up her finger with liquid on it and it's very helpfully labeled vagina slime. Yes, vagina slime. That's the technical term. I don't know what the kids are calling it these days. Maybe I should go to Essex High School and ask. Next one. We've got three more panels of the increasing emotional dysregulation provoked by the vagina slime. <laughs> you know, and it says, at the library, I began to discover more and more queer books. Mm, indeed, I'll bet you did. I'll bet you did. There are three panels here, and the first two depict a blowjob. They have one person standing up, who I would say is a man, except I happen to know that this is supposed to be a depiction of a plastic fake penis or a dildo on a strap being worn by the woman. And kneeling is the author's partner, putting her hand on the phallus and then sticking it in her mouth. Yeah, oh, and by the way, when you see the blurring here, that's us. I didn't want to show that whole thing to you, but that's there's no blurring in the book, okay? It's just full on right there. This is the author talking about herself. The kids I teach are primarily assigned female at birth, and they range in age from 11 to 14. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Thought bubble coming out of the teacher as she stands in front of the blackboard. I wonder if any of these kids are trans or non-binary, but don't have words for it yet. Next one. How many of them have never seen a non-binary adult? Is my silence actually a disservice to all of them? This is sick. 
is my silence a disservice to all of them? Do you believe me now that they're coming for your kids? Is this enough? Is this book in your public school library? Do you know? I think you should check. And I want to talk directly to the Essex, Vermont School District right now, because you're going to be hearing from me. I'm going to make sure that you see this show. I'm going to make sure that you see it on your social media. Here are my questions. Number one, what was the review process for accepting this book into library circulation? Number two, who are the staff and faculty that were on the review committee? I want names. Number three, does the school not recognize this as child pornography? And finally, does the school psychologist have any concerns at all about the glorification of what appears to be trauma-induced body disassociation and mental imbalance? I shouldn't even have asked that question because I'm sure it would be shocking. This is just normal, isn't it? I'm sure the psychologist is very inclusive. Actually, I, I made a mistake here. I have one final question, and it's this, Essex Schools. Are you aware of Vermont statute subsection 2882 titled Disseminating Indecent Material to a Minor in the Presence of a Minor? If not, let me read it to you. Excuse me, pardon me, 2802. Here it is. No person may, with knowledge of its character and content, sell, lend, distribute, or give away to any minor any picture, photograph, drawing, sculpture, motion picture film, or similar visual representation or image, including any such representation or image which is stored electronically, of a person or portion of the human body which depicts nudity, sexual conduct, or sadomasochistic abuse which is harmful to minors. Hope you've got a good lawyer. See you after the break.